Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And today, we're gonna to be doing a number of things. First off, I wanted to go ahead and visit our house. Oh, I hope I'll be able to make this without falling down the ravine. Okay, come on, no, Link, Link, come on, come on, no. Oh, I chose an awful time to do this. Yes, okay, he made it. I wanted to go ahead and uh, go inside and put this one bow I have. Of course, I do have, I can, I can take this. Actually, I can't carry any more weapons, but I do wanna take that. I don't know how much damage it does, but I think it's better than, uh, I don't really need the wood cutting axe right now. Of course, we got the master sword in the last episode. That was a lot of fun. Um, I don't think I need the wood cutting axe at the moment. Uh, and instead, in its place, I did want to put uh, something. No, I didn't want to display that. <laughs> Hold on, I wanted to put the uh, bow that we got from the Rito that I just don't want to use, which was a uh, great eagle bow. Uh, so let's go ahead and equip that so that I can Oh, can I only put melee weapons? Ah, okay. I don't want to talk to him about that. Is there any way to display ranged weapons? Because I want, I want to figure that out soon so I don't have to worry about this being in my inventory. Hey, need something from me? Build me something. Uh, Gear displays. Bow mount, how much is that? 100 rupees, so I don't quite have that amount. Um, a lot of people are saying that I should hold on to my monster parts. There's a quest later on that I guess they're useful for, but minerals, not so much. So I might just like sell something. I don't really know if this mysterious mineral, mineral gives off a pale blue glow in the dark, which some believe to be souls of the dead. Apparently this stone could be used as a base to make special clothing. Okay. Hmm. All right then, I'm just sort of taking a look at what we have. I know that, I mean, I actually don't know how much more of these kind of ancient parts we need for things, but I'm sure they'll be helpful. I might sell stuff that we have like a lot extra of, like topaz and stuff, especially if I just need one more. Um. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with that. I'm gonna build up hopefully enough rupees so that we can just present that that bow there. And then eventually we'll have to remake the one that we got from the Zora. I forget which one that was, but you get the idea. So where's the shop around here? Uh, Just right there, general store. Always forget. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, a lot of you also let me know that the, the entrance to the Yiga clan that was over this way, wasn't actually an entrance, that might be the exit. So I'll try to uh, find a different way in. I didn't really see anything though, so that's sort of the weird part. Anyways, uh, I have things to sell you. I mean, I don't really wanna sell too much just to get me where I'm going, you know? Also, other people let me know that if I do combo foods, if I combo things with two different effects, they might cancel each other out, so that's why I thought I'd get an effect sometimes and I just didn't get anything. Oh, these are 180 each? Right, I'm just gonna sell four of them. That'll be plenty, oh my gosh. I don't know what else I need these for, but I'm sure that six is basically as good as 10. Or, or yeah, I would imagine. So that'll be enough to get the bow display. No, I wanted to go through the door. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, well, that with that many rupees, man, I might want to start taking up minerals a little more often. I didn't think they cost that much. Uh, yeah, that's great. I mean, I think topazes aren't something we get very often. They seem to be usually something we get out of shrines and out of beating like hordes of enemies that have a chest at the end of it or something. I'm not really sure though. Uh, hello. Hi. Need something from me? Yep. Uh, I wonder what the, actually, I want to see some of this other stuff. Installations. Bed, lighting, door, never mind. I mean, I know some people were saying that I should have like some kind of lighting or maybe not lighting, but definitely the bed uh, because. I can sleep then restore hearts, but I can I can sleep in a lot of different places. Um, build me something, I wanted to see house exterior. What do you got? A sign with my name, plant some flowers, plant trees, never mind. Okay, build me something, gear displays, bow mount, 100 rupees. I'm ready to pay up. Okay, so we'll be able to uh, make this bow display, which would be awesome. And how long does this take? I always forget. Oh. Hang on a sec, I gotta get my mind right. Uh. Carson, are we are we studs of stud work? You're darn tootin' we are. Ah. <laughs> Been waiting. All right, these guys are great. So they're making our bow mount, which is awesome. <laughs> Perfectly installed, give it a look. All right, I will, gladly. So where is it? Oh, it's just over this way. So this is a bow mount. To me, it looks <laughs> incredibly similar, but hey, that's fine. So I got that there. When it comes to this, um, oh yeah, that's right, I don't have any more. 
melee weapons I can carry. But when it comes to my bow, a lot of you also let me know, lots of awesome information from you guys recently, that when it comes to these times three forest dweller bows, while it does shoot out three arrows, it only costs one. So I can use it without fear of wasting a bunch of arrows. So thank you for letting me know that. I was like planning on maybe not even using it because of that kind of stuff. We're gonna equip the knight's bow, I think that'll be good. So yeah, where are we heading to now? Hmm, I mean, a lot of you were suggesting a whole bunch of different places to explore. I really never poked around the Nehru, and I know that I need to get to the Grudo and do a bunch of stuff there, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just trying to decide what's the best place to explore. I mean, I wanna focus on the main quest, so maybe we could, like we went all the way up to this shrine, and I really didn't find much. But that's as far as we went on this mountain, and maybe I just need to keep exploring and poking around on this mountain until I find the entrance to the Yiga Clan. I mean, if I do this for a good couple minutes and I have a hard time, I could try to go back to the Grudo and see if they have anything, or yeah, the Grudo, not the Goron. I don't know why I can get their names mixed up so easily, but I can. But yeah, I don't really know where to enter it, but I'm sure if I explore the area enough, I might be able to find something. They didn't really give me too many hints. But now that the Master Sword is restored, I'm sure we'll get some good stuff done. Aren't those ice guys gonna be right next to me still? Also, am I gonna be warm enough to deal with this? I think so. Uh, first off, equip that. I should probably upgrade that a little bit. Also equip the snow boots. Those are pretty good. We're still a little cold though, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip. Hmm. Spicy elixir is pretty good. I, mean, I guess I don't have too much. It's uh, anti spiciness or anti cold. Okay. Well, for right now, grants high level warming effect. I could just hold my flame sword. I think that is probably the best answer. But I do see all of this. And now my bomb's better as well. I forgot about that, we did so much. We've been doing so much. Okay, there go all the rocks flying all over the place, which is fine, to be honest with you. They're all luminous stones. I didn't see how much those cost, but I'm getting so many of them, I can only assume that I can start selling them soon. Uh, There's a couple more. It seems like there is sort of a geographical specification with these stones, right? Like maybe a lot of these mining stones here drop. Uh, oh, I thought that was like animal bones. No, it was birds. Um, drop luminous stones, but maybe in other areas they're more likely to drop other kinds of stones. At least that's what I've noticed. Maybe I'm totally wrong with that. And that was just a lot of luck there getting luminous stones, but we'll find out eventually. So I haven't gone up this way. Whoa. Whoa, okay, we got a friend. Oh, I got him! Let's try to get him again! Hold on, hold on. Oh, you guys are so good at dodging all the time. Uh, gotcha. Cause that's all I gotta do is one hit, <laughs> and I take him down. All right, I thought I maybe was able to get a bow out of that, but that's fine, you're not a bow, um, an arrow. Cause I thought I dropped one. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> hold on. Can I not get this out this way? Let's break that, and then, uh, Oh, tug, yeah, <laughs> that worked. All right, what's inside this thing? Uh, Opal, hey, speaking of more stuff like that. Uh, will I have enough time to pull no, this out and then, oh, just like that. Oh, we got a question mark there, what is that? Frozen bass, that's one cold fish. Eating it won't restore many hearts, but it'll lower your body's temperature, but that'll be great when we're in the desert. And then uh, I got a frozen hardy salmon. This salmon doesn't taste quite as fishy because the excess fat has been removed. It's exceptionally cold, so eating it provides a temporary boost to heat resistance. Awesome, that was a very worthwhile set of boxes. Also, is this guy still attacking me? I mean, I don't wanna attack you, doggy, but if you're gonna go for it, I gotta. I feel so awful. All right, well, we got some meat for it. No, 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 not more of them. Hold on, do I have any flame arrows? Do, do, do I really need them? I guess not, if I'm sneaky about this, actually. Might need a whole bunch of nothing. Ooh, will they notice me if I'm crawling? I sure hope not. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Ah! <laughs> I got him. Okay. Um, I don't think I need the sword. Yeah, I really don't need it. Or the shield. Can you guys leave me alone? I don't wanna deal with you. Okay, I don't see too much else going around around this way. Might be something over there. But for now, I'm not concerned. The wind is really picking up around here. I mean, I guess it makes sense. We're getting like a higher altitude. I saw you. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, don't try that again. Oh, you're trying it again. Don't try it again. Uh, oh, okay, I hit you, you hit me, but I'll live to tell about it. 
Whoa, 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 there's another one. Oh, that's so scary. When you're not expecting it, <laughs> it sort of gives me flashbacks to the chomper in Garden Warfare. Uh, is this another chest in the in the ground here? I know I have the right thing. Awesome. This is just oddly common. So let's kick this chest open. The Golden Claymore, whoa. Only the most talented Gerudo sword fighters carry this two-handed sword. It's actually lighter than it appears and is surprisingly easy to wield and it has long throw. Do we have anything that's less than 28 damage? Cause that looks like it could be fun to have. Um, I mean, we do have some things that are less than 28 damage. Okay, well the Silver Longsword, honestly, it's about broken anyways. I mean, maybe I could have done something a bit more with that. But hey, you live and you learn. Golden Claymore. Look at this thing, so cool. But I don't wanna use it right now. I wanna go ahead and bring my flame sword back. Now, this thing has been so great. I don't know if there's a way to... Oh, another dragon. That is the third one we've seen in the game. I think, maybe the fourth. There are so many. Oh, look at all these dudes. I don't know if there's a way to revitalize, uh, like, I guess durability in weapons, but I sure hope there is. Did you, how, who saw me? Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, ah. Uh, I can do that kind of stuff too, you know. Gotcha, that, did, okay, so you're not like an ice specific character. Uh, so I could do some Master Sword fun here. Uh, okay, wow, I immediately lost a ton of health. Oh, it's like super cold. Okay, well now's my chance then to uh, drink this. Okay, so that, Helped a lot. <laughs> awesome. Um, and then I'll just eat some food. Okay, so, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Why are all of you dudes archers? I mean, actually, it's great. I can maybe borrow some of your arrows if you don't mind. Oh, gosh. Um, hey, hold on a second. Um, this is a problem. Um, okay, I need to get rid of this dude who actually can hit me with the. Here we go. I don't know why it's focusing on that dude up there. Like, the camera's getting really odd about this. Come on, catch it, catch it. One more. Okay, gotcha. Awesome. So, your little friend over here has been taking his shots. Take them wisely, because if not, I'm gonna be taking advantage. Oh boy, ow, don't just kick me. That's just rude. Okay, what kind of bow did you have? A knight's bow. Oh, ice arrows, oh, frozen keys? Seriously, where did you guys come from? Don't you say I already had working engagements against these other bigger dudes? And you just wanna hop in? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. This is bad. <laughs> Luckily I have all this extra health. Jeez. All right, you and me, buddy. Cause you don't have any melee weapons. Uh, How about we go ahead and uh, electrocute you? Just like that, perfect. And then, I might be able to hit you with something like this Claymore. Might do some good work. That was good. I don't want to toss this at you just yet, actually. Uh, hmm. You know what, we got a lot of these. I think I'm fine with hitting you with it, and then tossing it at you. There we go, perfect stuff. I think we got all of them. The music stopped, so that likely means we're done. Uh, Knight's broadsword might as well take it. Better than nothing. Uh, man, oh man, that was quite the battle. I like it. We're getting better at battling. We also have a lot more stuff to help us survive. Oh, what do we got? Silver rupee, nice. See, we're starting to make some dough again. Uh, we got some more frozen key stuff, ice key swings. That'll be helpful for when we go back to the desert. Even though I have those fish now, that'll be super duper helpful. Uh, so nobody's up this way. I'm gonna keep moving. I got about three and a half minutes. Oh, there is one last dude. All right, you know what? I can take you on. So you were probably the one that spotted me. There's nobody to call. Sorry. <laughs> I'll be back down for your stuff in a second. But first, oh, hey. You're, you're harboring a, a slime in there. Our choo-choo. What do we got? Bomb arrows, nice. That's what I'm looking for. That's the kind of results I want to see. No arrows? Well, what did you shoot? When did you shoot at me? Okay, whatever. Man, it gets like wicked cold around here. We're about to enter, I guess, the Gerudo Highlands. Oh, I see this dude. Hmm, Icy, get it? Ha ha, uh. I think this might be when I wanna bring out the flame sword again. I really don't want this thing to get damaged. 
but I also really need to stay around. Hey, buddy, get out of here. <laughs> In instantly. Can I pick this up? I can't. Uh, hmm. Okay. I, mean, I might just toss this at this guy. Oh, he had friends. Isn't that, don't pick up the sword I threw at you. Ow, ow, okay, you know what? I'm leaving. Goodbye. Ugh. I'm trying to get my glider out. Whoa. Oh, those are all barrels down there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. really? Okay, well, we're bowling. Bowling for some carnage. Ready, and now. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, I love it. And that didn't really do much to him, did it? Ugh. Yeah, that actually that didn't do much to them either of them at all. Well, that guy is taking a little bit of a beating. Here comes another one. Ready, set, boom. Oh man, doesn't do much damage. This guy up here is like still sleeping. Out and throw another one. Come on, come on. Ooh, they just don't even know what's attacking them still. It's me. Okay, okay, ready. Ooh, <laughs> I can just do this all day. It's fantastic. Come on, come on. He's like, what is that? Bop. <laughs> it really does next to nothing to him. If I'm doing this, it's gonna take me a while. Maybe it's about good to uh hit him with that. Oh man, he has a lot of health. Oh boy. No. Ugh. Gotcha. And I'm gonna get you too. Oh, he's on fire. Oh, he's on fire. That's perfect. Oh, actually, it didn't do much to him. <laughs> Wait, I don't have a sword right now. Uh, Master sword. Bop, bop, ba. Oh, I love it. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff. We got a, uh, no, I wanted to hold that while I was on fire. Oh well. Okay, so there is still the guy up here that I don't think has noticed me, so if I could sneak up that way, might be able to take him out and get his arrows. Oh no, he just noticed me. Yep, he just did. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Get up like this, and then toss, boom, and then he falls off. Okay, get him. I had to get the sword back out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ready? Oh, I missed. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Come on, get him. Awesome. Drop arrows. No arrows, really? You guys, you guys are really holding out on me here. I don't know where this pathway is leading at this point, but it's gotta be somewhere good. I do see this guy. It seems like there's stuff this way as well. These should be wild berries, correct? Uh, yep, wild berries. Called it. This guy doesn't quite see me. How many, I don't have many fire arrows, so if I could just hold on for now. And uh, I don't know if he sees me or not. Hmm. I got 30 seconds before I, I'm just gonna pull this out now. I don't know if that makes me like more noticeable. See, you have a friend right here, what is that? That's another chest, ah. Okay, okay. He doesn't quite seem to see me just yet. Oh, ah, I got him! Wait, 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 what? It didn't instantly take him out. <laughs> oh well, I got him though. I got a, uh, a boomerang for that. And I also get, a chest! I just have to pull out the uh, gravity thing all the time, just to look around for chests. Like every couple of paces, really. So what do we get from this one? Uh, a ruby, nice, those sell really well. I don't see anything that way. Okay, at this point, like I'm making progress wherever I'm going, it's just, I don't know where I'm going, is the hard part. Oh, ooh, here's a cave. Like literally, I just, maybe this will be the entrance, maybe it won't be. <laughs> maybe I'm just exploring a mountain, which is totally worth it, because, ooh, glowy rocks. We might be able to find some awesome things, like that dragon. I really don't know much about the dragons, the game really hasn't explained that one. Whoa. Um, oh, it's rock, dude. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Um, how are you? Ooh, look at your big old rock. You must be proud. Uh, you grew it yourself. Let's go ahead and try one of the bomb arrows. Thank goodness I didn't miss it. I would have felt so embarrassed. Okay, well, uh, let's just pretend that didn't happen. I have myself a giant hammer, so boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna charge up if I can. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I got a little dizzy up there, gotta be honest. Ow, my face. Oh, there's a topaz. We just sold one of those earlier. Don't you dare. <laughs> No, that's amber. Oh, okay. I get topazes and amber confused, I'll be honest. Uh, they're both oranges, orange-ish. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, ooh, oh, 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 oh. 
Okay. Okay, that was great, but he's mad. Come on, got him. Hold on. <laughs> he's gonna fall. Last time we beat a big boss like this, he fell over, and him falling over took me out. Oh yeah, okay, I need the fire sword back out. Uh, Man, I wasn't expecting to deal with him. A diamond, nice. Those sell for a lot. I think I'm gonna hold on to it, though, because I only have like one. Wasn't there something that flew over this way? Oh, there was. Oh, it was my bomb arrow. Yeah, I shot it this way. Well, I'm not getting that back. Oh, I see that chest, though. Once again, these are so sneaky. Man. I really want to go back through like, this entire path to make sure I didn't miss anything. A golden bow. Durability up plus. This Gerudo made bow is popular for the ornamentations along its limbs. Designed for hunting and warfare alike, this bow was engineered to strike distant targets. Wow. Inventory's full. Well, I'm gonna make some room. What is my we weakest bow right now? The uh, Strength and Lysel bow. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that. And uh, pick this bad boy back up. Even if it uh, is only a little bit of damage, it seems really awesome. Uh, I wish you could sell weapons in this game. It doesn't seem like you can. What's gonna be in here? I don't know. That didn't seem like it brought me in a cave. I guess as much as it brought me closer to the dragon and sort of just in a new area. Weird, I don't know really where we are, but I'm having a lot of fun exploring it. You can get spicy peppers in the cold, what do you know? I mean, I might have to take advantage of those soon, but in the meantime, this guy doesn't know what's about to hit him. Should I use my most powerful bow? Probably not. I want him to try this one. Do I have it equipped? I do. Oh, that's sort of weird. I thought they would sort of shoot all in a row, but no, instead they have like this triple shot, which does make it easier to land your hit. Um, I'm gonna quickly pull this out and then, whop, 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 ah. <laughs> Okay, pretty good, pretty good. And uh, what do we get? Some pretty nice stuff. Oh, speaking of which, here we go. I can cook some food up here. Perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold just like that and plop it here. There we go. I know I don't experiment much, much with the food, but I feel like this is a good start. Spicy simmered fruit, six minutes. That's actually really good. Uh, Hold, 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 hold. And then, oop, do that again. I'm just gonna make that a couple times if I can. Because six minutes, I feel like it's a good amount of time. And this is, you know, I won't have to be burdened. Uh, What's it called? Having to pull out this sword all the time. I mean, it's a nice little cheat, but at the same time. uh, It doesn't, Offer any special effects, but increase your heart recovery when used as an ingredient. Okay. When it's used as an ingredient, the resulting dish will temporarily increase your attack power. I feel like just having like a banana apple combo. That sounds like it could be something. Mighty simmered fruit, so that'll give me attack up. Maybe the next time we know we're gonna go against a boss fight or something, I can use something like that. Um, See, before I thought this was the honey, I was being a total thing is this is the honey. Um, cooking into a meal unlocks the potential of those nutrients and provides a stamina recovery effect. Okay. It seems like you always wanna cook these kind of things with some other basic things, like uh, apples seem to be like one of those really good base foods where it doesn't really have anything that might counteract with anything else. Um, lots of health and instantly refills some of your stamina wheel. A juicy, sweet, and sour dish combining newly ripened apples with honey. Very cool. So I don't really need that weapon very much, I don't think. I did want to try sorting. I don't know what this sorts it by. I guess, I guess it's like that, okay. I mean, it sort of sorts it different ways depending on what I want. Okay, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> uh, maybe the same thing with this stuff and this stuff. Well, <laughs> not much sorting to be had there. Oh, there's another chest and I see those ice keys. Not really looking forward to dealing with those guys, but looks like I'm gonna have to do that in a moment. Wait, I can't get this one. What's the dealio there? Uh, ah, you little sneaker! You spooked me! Okay, yeah, you run around. Like, I ain't gonna get you. You know what I should probably do? No, you don't. Wait, where'd you go? Oh, are you done already, huh? Well, fine, I didn't want to get you anyways, even though you would have dropped a ton of rupees. He moved quick. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got him. This triple bow is helpful for this kind of stuff. Oh, hey, okay, it is nighttime. These guys apparently only show up during the night. 
I'm gonna use the claymore for sure. No, no, no. Oh, gotcha. Uh, boom. No, 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 no. Not happening. Can you move out of the way, Mr. Skeleton? Oh, I never actually ate the food I made. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Eat this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. <laughs> so, is that everybody? Looks like it to me. Let me pick up all these monster pieces. We got so many monster pieces, it's great. Leave me alone, Mr. Wolf, I don't wanna attack you. Don't know what that is up there, but I'm getting curious. Is he attacking me? He's not. Hmm. So first off, this. Uh, I should just be able to stand next to it. It will start melting. Maybe I could climb on top of it. Not quite. But hey, if standing next to it does it, I'll gladly do it. It just doesn't do it very much. I mean, doing this does help. I don't think it uses any of the durability. I would sure hope not. No, it does! Why? That doesn't make no sense. Okay, okay, stop swinging it, Link. I'm not even hitting it against anything. That wouldn't make any sense. Ah, oh, geez. I don't wanna lose it. Maybe I get to shatter the ice. Drop. And then, fuck. No, not even close, okay. Hmm. Well, then my next best bet on melting ice would be to, I mean, having the sword out seem to do something, it's just so slow. I mean, I don't really know if there's anything like in this chunk of ice. There might not be anything, I'm just wasting it. No, wait, look at that! Don't, don't talk so soon, Zebra. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. So, open this bad boy, what do we got in this chest? A sapphire, another really expensive gem. I'll gladly take it. See, so yeah, that makes me very curious about what's up here in this ice cube. The thing is, is it's definitely not, oh, here's this jerk. Uh, oh, I missed all three of those shots? Are you serious about that? Uh, missed those two. Okay, goodbye. Uh, stay down there, why don't you? I mean, I could throw this at you. Ugh, that, that did not go the way as planned. He has a, oh, he has a fire wand. Hold on real quick, I, I need a second. Um, there we go. That really didn't do as much as I thought it would. Uh, okay, these these hurt. These do 36 damage. I mean, these do more damage than the, uh, what's it called? So I wasted my flame sword for nothing there. Um, Where is he at? Cause I'm getting tired of this dude. Is he way ob above head? He is. Okay, dude, come on down. Let's make this a fair fight. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, here it is. <laughs> no, oh, I hate how that works. Oh, I really hate how that works sometimes. Oh, it just bounces. Okay, so let's not waste any more than we have. Got him, and then he hops up quick, you gotta go. Got him, awesome. Uh, ice rod. I don't know if I really need it. <laughs> to be honest with you, I just didn't want him to take me out. Anyways, we have the fire rod. Uh, it really is, once again, sort of the same situation. What if I were to do what I did another episode ago, which is what I, uh, I remember being this, and then I would pull this out, and then I could turn that on fire, and then I mess it up. <laughs> oh well. This will melt, it just takes forever and a half. You'd think there'd be a faster way. I don't know if there's anything inside of it. I'd have to imagine there is. What else is the point? I made some fire over there. But this guy was sort of trying to get around this. Like, it's, it's hard. Wait, there's somebody frozen inside. Oh, the poor guy was trying to unfreeze his friend. I guess the ice mage did it. I don't see any faster, more applicable way than just to stand here, though, which is sort of a shame. Like, that does not sound very fun just to stand here. What about this one? Can I at all see what's going on? Oh, uh, there's a dude in there. That's for sure. Hmm. Okay. I think it's worth to, you know, bust these guys out. What if they have some cool items? Yeah, there's a guy in this one, and now I see it. There's a Bokoblin. But this right here might have something. There's like there's an ice cube next to it as well. Right now we're just melting it. He is starting to break free. Uh yeah, I can't just hit it. I really need to do this. <laughs> this is so bizarre. 
Oh, hey, hey, uh, no, 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 don't you dare attack me. I saved your life. You gotta be my best friend now. Don't you fall off the edge either. How can I get your arrows if you fall off the edge? Fuck. Okay, that could have been better. Um, there you go. Drop arrows, please. There's no arrows there. What, what is the point of a bow if you don't got no arrows? You're silly. And then this tiny little ice cube doesn't look like it has much, if anything. I wish that wasn't the case, but um, yeah, it doesn't look like anything. I'm gonna wait, just in case, just in case. Um, no, there's no way. There's no way there's anything in this tiny little ice cube. I don't know why it can shrink so much then. And it goes, okay. But this seems like it's a common theme from here on out. You can see there's another up ice cube up ahead. So this guy, Dalius is frozen in action. He does not have a bow and arrow though. Seems like he was going for a slam dunk with that position. All right. I don't know, he has, yeah, he has the uh, club. So then he must have been fighting the ice, ice, a ice mage. He was not fighting the Ice Age. He, that's a that's a losing battle, and he just ended up uh, getting frozen by him, which is a total shame. It's interesting how it tells a narrative, though. That's very very cool. Well, we're just gonna wait for it. But yeah, I definitely need to go and get more arrows soon. Oh, okay. So he's popping out of this side. Usually, when the weapons start showing up, I think that means we're about to about to get our fight. Maybe he'll drop something worthwhile. I wonder if I can take his weapon. That'd be so funny. Ah, oh, hey, uh, a little too close for comfort for the both of us. Uh, okay, I know you were just frozen, but now you're electrocuted. Um, and now we're gonna use the Master Sword. Nice. Ooh, I'm get, coming to get you. Ah! <laughs> okay, it's running low on energy, but that's fine. I have used it pretty well as of late. And then we just got one giant uh, Moblin Goblin, whatever they are. Is there anything like on the other side of this jump or anything? Oh, I do see a chest in there. Ah, a prize. Excellent. So what melts this quicker? I mean, I think they're both the same, which is unfortunate because we got a lot of melting to go here. We're about to run out of time for a potion, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, eat another one. I mean, yeah, I guess I don't really have too much of a choice. Another six minutes. It's not the most well spent six minutes, but at the same time, maybe I could have held on because I'm holding this uh, fire stuff anyways. Hmm. But yeah, there's a chest in there, so this, this one's gonna be worth it. Wonder if I could like stand on it or something? I mean, I'm trying, <laughs> that's for sure. Have a little bit of fun while I'm up here, huh? While I'm waiting for this guy. I don't know if it melts any quicker, but you can see like the tip of his weapon or maybe his horn popping out. So it's only a matter of time. <laughs> this is really weird. I'm just desperately trying to run up it. It's actually like working too. Okay, not, not anymore. Uh, no, 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 don't use Rivali's gale. That'd be a waste. I mean, I'm only down to one anyways, so I guess maybe it wouldn't be too much of a waste. But I wanna fight this guy, or at least knock him off and get his uh, his chest. That'd be fun. Hmm. Okay, so I might just use like the try boomerang Oh, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to be ready for when he pops out, but maybe I should just be using the uh, giant club. He's gonna pop out any second now. You can see his nose. Come on. I'm ready for you. I'm ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did not expect to be doing this kind of stuff with today's episode. Okay, he's got one finger out. And like all of his nose. You think he'd be able to smell now? He'd be like, huh, what's that melting smell? <laughs> Come on, how long is this gonna take till he can break free? I honestly, okay, right now, and catch! Yeah, wait, no, you were supposed to fall. Okay, thank you. What does this have? It has ice arrows. Oh, I could really just repeat the same action on the poor guy, huh? Whoa, this was a mistake! Ah, <laughs> that really worked, but also, oh my gosh. Okay, uh, probably shouldn't have done that, but it, it worked. Uh, what do you drop? Not really much, but hey, I'll take it. I'm out of here. Uh, I have enough for the ice rod now, or enough room for it. I just gotta keep using this. I don't see much that way, at least not for now. I mean, obviously the gaze of this thing only goes out so far. I do see one down there. No taken. 
Uh, maybe I should go down there and check it out now. I don't know if this being all icy really has a major problem. I just don't know what this is, so I wanna find out. I know, you guys don't like me. I'm just here for this. I'll be gone, I'll be out of your hair in a moment. Purple rupee, nice, that's another 50. So can I get back up? It looks like I can, it doesn't seem like there's too much opposition. There is a bit of wind though, which is scaring me. We should be able just to jump, I think. Oh boy. Ready, set, good. Yeah, I made it. <laughs> okay, so what's with the ease ice cubes? I mean, if they just have enemies in them, I might start leaving them, because I'm just getting monster bits from it. But if it has more, well then, then we're talking. Oh no, oh gosh, uh, hey, little guys. Can, no, that's a problem, they're ice dudes. Uh, hey, no, uh, I'm your friend. Oh, hey, that was actually really easy. No, no, come on, take me on. <laughs> now that I know you're easy to defeat, I'll take you all on. Oh gosh, ow. Stop with the one, two setup you got going on here. Um, what if I just uh, drop and then run and then, uh, yeah, I got him. Okay, so you dropped the sapphire. Look at you, Mr. Moneybags. Uh, no, <laughs> I need that protection, Daruk. Oh gosh. Got him. Okay, give me that flint. There's like a couple characters now that want a lot of flint for me for one reason or another. Okay, I got rid of all of them. Oh, that was ridiculous. So what is in these, if anything? Like these ones don't look like they're very easy to look through. It really could be anything. Now I see a chest, I think. That definitely is the shape of a chest. So we're gonna go for that one. Uh, just like this, and stand. <laughs> Sorry, this is not the most engaging episode so far, but uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Look at that upward draft. Don't know what's happening there, but there might be something really hot at the bottom. Usually if you see an upward draft like that, that's a lot of heat being created. And we saw that in Goron City. Not Gerudo Village, but Goron City. Uh, so maybe we should do that. Also, some of you did tell me that I should maybe look into selling my minerals at the Goron City. I just was you know, at that general store for convenience. Uh, maybe they sell for more at a specific shop. That would make sense. Uh, so I might try that at some point, once we build up more minerals. Now that I'm like on the lookout for them. But man, there's so many more ways to go. I could have gone the other way too. But hey, I'm like at this position right now where I don't know really where I'm going for the one quest, so I'm just sort of exploring and having a lot of fun doing it. I might as well also, you know, get this stuff along the way, because I can sort of afford to at the moment. There we go, there we go. Once you can see it, you can just yank it out. Uh, Topaz, okay. That's what we, that's not what we sold earlier. So you're just, no, do you have a chest in there? Hard to tell if that's your tail or a chest. Oh man, it's really hard to tell if you have anything interesting. Before we get you that, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... oh, what is that? Nothing, I don't know, it's hard to tell, it's so misty. There's just an upward wind being created over here. Huh, and is this just like wasteland desert? I suppose so. Hmm, cause like that's the end of the game over there, like you can't go that far. Well, no, maybe you can. Maybe I'm looking at this the wrong way. Uh, there's another ice wizard. I'm just like traveling so much and it doesn't really seem like there's actually anything you can do around here. Like there's no quest relevance, which is interesting. Uh, I don't think he has a chest. I think that's just the monster. I don't know if this ice cube does, like next to it. But last time we experienced that, it wasn't like that. So we'll check out this one. And once again, it's a bit of a mystery for me. Hard to tell, but this one's so small, it shouldn't take too long to melt. Okay, we'll do this one, and then I don't wanna bore you guys to death, we'll maybe do something else. <laughs> we'll just keep looking. But yeah, I, I, I'm starting to feel like maybe the entrance to the Yiga Clan isn't this way. Okay, I have one more of these. I definitely need the health anyway, so I'll go ahead and eat it. Yum. Okay. So this one's almost broken already, I don't really see anything in it. But I'll, I'll keep I'll keep an open mind, I'll keep optimistic. It's getting a bit too small for there to be a chest inside. Okay, yes, yeah, so this one doesn't have anything. Good to know, oh my gosh, there's so many more. I sorta of wanna go down this way though. Whee! Uh, I don't know how much I should explore this area down here. Oh, ooh, got some more wild berries. Cause I definitely wanna sort of check around and uh, look for chests. 
The chests in the floor are so easy to get, like, I can't not, you know? Oh, look at the, uh... The animals. Oh, gosh, no, wait, they're, they're being ridden. Oh, they're, they're on bears? Uh... Well, this is a concern. These guys are... Must be really cool if they can tame a bear. Well, uh... They're about to become a lot cooler. Uh, ah, wait, no, it didn't work. Okay, there we go. Uh, well, I didn't really mean to use it twice, but hey, if it worked that way, it worked that way. Um, can I get your stuff? No arrows, it's like they just don't like coughing it up. And this guy apparently has ice arrows. Okay, I knocked you off, that really hurt. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just give me something that'll give me hearts. It's like that, perfect. All right, let's, let's zig and zag. Oh, are there spicy? No, it looks like they're just wild berries. That's okay. Awesome. There goes our master sword. That's fine. That's fine. We can just hit you a couple times with that. Get a wild berry. The bear is not happy about this. Okay, now I gotta face the bear. Seriously, I didn't want anything to do with you, Mr. Bear. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay, I got this stuff. I think they left me alone. Thank you. You know, you're really pleasant. Oh no, they're still mad. What did I do to you? Leave me alone. I'm not, I don't want honey. Uh, what if I gave you honey? What if I just dropped some on the floor? Would you chase it? I was not expecting to see Bokoblins being ridden or riding bears. It'd be even weirder if the bears were riding the Bokoblins. See, so yeah, what is up with this? To me, this does look like maybe like the top of a volcano of some sort. Huh. I don't think this will do anything. No, well, goodbye. Yeah, it's just an upward draft here. That is so interesting. There must be some kind of like under, underground heat. Well, let me get over this way, because I do see these. Uh, let's bust those open. Uh, boom, rocks on, and rocks on. Lots of rocks on, that's like the most common thing you can get, that and flint. But even more, it seems like rock salt. Especially now that it seems like I need flint, I'm getting a lot more rock salt. Okay, well we could go that way. I know there was this way. Maybe now that uh, I'm on this side, I can sort of avoid the ice mage. Cause honestly, that's what I was looking to do. Oh, is that a chest over there? Looks like it to me. Oh no, I'm like totally out of stamina. Oh, this is a problem now. Well, that's great, Mifa, thank you. Okay, we'll go over to that chest, check it out. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That is definitely a chest, right? Oh, it's hard to tell. Actually, no, what is this? It's a little leaf. Uh, wait, it's a timer. A timer for what? Oh, oh hey, oh hey, I gotta go through the, the, the rings. <laughs> uh, okay, I'd love to, but I gotta get up there real quick. Ooh, here we go. Come on. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm gonna run out of time. I'm gonna run out of time. I'm halfway, halfway to messing it up. Oh gosh, oh gosh, come on. Land like that, and then go up, go up, go up. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. We can't lose a race. Okay, we got three, three dots left. Oh boy, two dots left. Come on, come on. Oh, we're just gonna get, yeah, I did it, ha <laughs> ha, we made it. That was so cool, you found me. That was one of the most enjoyable Korok seeds yet. And that's my only one I have at the moment. So yeah, I think that we should probably take a U-turn, start looking the other direction for the Yigi clan. But I'll do that in due time. For now, there's surely more fun this way. Seems like there's more fun everywhere. It's great, it's just very cold. So once my, I think my cold timer runs out, I think that's when I'm gonna skedaddle. What is this, are these uh, wild berries again? When wild berries aren't bad, I'll gladly take them. I just sort of wish they were uh, something else. Okay, I don't really have the flaming things to deal with you right now, so I'm just gonna deal with you the old fashioned way, which is kicking your butt. Uh, no you don't, don't you dare freeze me. Don't you dare. Uh, oh man. Come on, come on, come on, ready? Ugh. Okay, that broke it, but at least I put it to good use. No, come on, we'll hit you on the way back. It won't. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that's really not what I wanted. Yeah, I got him. And then, oh, I pressed A and like, he didn't do anything. Pick it up, and then toss this at you. No, wait, wait, wait. Got it. <laughs> Come on, stop. Run, you coward. Oh, the stones are starting to glow because I guess it's becoming night. Okay, got you a little bit. One more time, nice. Okay, you are out of here. Dropped a lot of cool stuff. 
Oh man, this is quite an exhausting area. So, I still have my sledgehammer. This thing usually is pretty sturdy. It'll last me a little while. Got me more luminous stones. Oh, maybe it's like the time of night I hit these. Or, yeah, because they're luminous stones, for sure. They're glowing all right, very luminously. Okay, now it's badly damaged. But I got a lot of stones out of it. Oh yeah, maybe it's about the time of day you attack it then. Hmm, these are still wide berries. For a second I thought they were spicy peppers, but I guess not. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is more than what I was expecting. What do you got over here? Um, well there's you. Um, can we deal with this a different way? Ow, this is really unnecessary. Get you, and then where are you at, buddy? Because you're getting a little too close for comfort. You're right here. Up, uh, come on, gotcha. <laughs> He's like, what do you want? You know what I want, I want you to stop attacking me. Jeez, oh, another sledgehammer, nice. Uh, I never broke the other one, but there it is. Okay, there's nothing really in there. So this looks like the remains of some other, some other person's travels. Oh no, there goes my ice protection. For now, for now I'm just gonna hold the, the fire on until I'm sure I've found as many cool things as I can possibly find in the current time frame I'm allowed. Lots of uh, different wildlife going on around here. There we go. I see the ice keys. I would like to avoid the ice keys. Okay, doggies, unless you're, you know, running with me because you think I'm gonna go fetch something, please leave me alone. Like, unless you're a friend, I don't want any foes right now. Okay. Uh. Hmm. There's the moon. The moon is moving very quickly. It has a place to be. It seems like I'm, that moon might be late to an appointment without quite gets moving. I'm getting a lot of free wild berries from this place. So it's, it's a tough place to survive, but you get loads of food for it, and you can also get chill shrooms. Oh, here we go. This is what I've been looking for. It looked like it, there might have been something over this way. I guess not. What has this got for me? Uh, another amber. Cool. So at this rate, we are, we are way over this way. Okay, I'm gonna get these berries, and we gotta go. We gotta go because I just don't know where I'm going anymore. <laughs> All right, so if I go back probably around here, I'm gonna go ahead and once we get to the top of the tower, activate the quest and sort of look around that area. I think sort of, sort of towards the west and north of that area, I didn't really poke around too much. I just sort of tried to follow that one area it seemed to be pushing me towards, but like you guys said, that seemed to be an exit, not an entrance. So I need to find another way in. If you befriend a dog, oh yeah, you guys were saying, I should find a dog and do this. It may lead you to something interesting. I have no clue how to befriend a dog except for to probably give it meat, so we'll try to do that at some point. But here we are, Gerudo Tower. And uh, it's much warmer here. Maybe a little too warm. Okay, yeah, I forgot to activate the quest. The thing I said I would. Uh, I guess we gotta do this one. Rusa Valley. Because I think Rusa Valley, I think that's just like a not a specific waypoint, as much as just generally in this area. But I guess in this valley. But you see how there's like a bit of a, Carusa Valley's right here though, so ah. Okay, well we may know where we're heading now. And that's better than nothing. I can also change my gear a little bit, since uh, we're not in super cold areas, that might change soon, but in the meantime, might as well make adjustments uh, by equipping things that'll be defending me better. There we go. I think it was worth upgrading this stuff. Having higher defense will surely help because I'm going to inevitably be hit by everything because I'm not very good at the game. Okay, oh hey, there's a little one of these little pinwheels. Have I done this one? I don't think I have. Uh, oh boy. Uh, how many arrows, I have 13 arrows. Oh, this is tricky too. What if I were just to do this little, like in the in the zebra gamer way? That, did, that missed. Uh, no, no, no. Ugh. No, that's, I'm not getting anywhere close with that. I don't know how I feel about this. I just wasted an arrow. Okay, well you can't get every Korok seed, especially when you're down to 12 arrows. So am I still heading the right way? Sort of, kind of. I need to head this way. And then, yeah, just keep going this way. I'm sort of following the right idea. I mean, I sort of am taking shortcuts with stuff, but I think it's fine. Oh hey, electric keys. I'm gonna ignore them at all costs. There's like more of a storm cloud over here, like the sandstorm, I guess. 
Is it getting cold again? Gosh darn it, I just got my, my warm clothes on. Okay, equip that, there we go. Gotta be careful, because these keys are over this way. Ooh, what is this little ring? Huh, probably another Korok seed. What is this? It's just, it's just a bush, okay. Oh hey, I haven't seen you guys before. Oh, that's not what I should have done. Oh well, live and learn, live and learn, live and learn. Get rid of you. Hey, hey, goodbye. <laughs> he just threw himself off. What is this about? Uh Oh, there's a missing rock. Ooh. Do I see any rocks around here? Seems as though there's a rock over this way, maybe. Uh Oh, right here, right here. Okay. Yeah, I'm supposed to complete the circle. I might throw it. No, I wanted to throw the rock. Yeah. There you go. That, that, that's just easier than uh, carrying it. Okay, let's try that again. Whoop. And, oh no, don't you dare. Oh, well, I tried. Maybe I tried a little too hard. Yes, I did. <laughs> that's just silly. See, I don't know what kind of obstacles will be awaiting us here, but I, I wanna take the easy way as long as I possibly can. But this is, oh, ooh, oh, hey guys. Uh. Uh, these are gonna be guys I should have in my highest interest out of taking out. So, uh, can I get over there real quick? Hold on, thank you. <laughs> that was great, I feel like I took a good opportunity, because those guys were gonna do what they were gonna do, so I did what I could, I could do. And he was well. Oh, one shot takedown? Awesome. Now one guy didn't draw much. I guess, yeah, these guys aren't very uh, well armed. Maybe I wasted a lot of arrows there. <clears throat> Okay, well, we're still going the right way. Yeah, we definitely are still going the right way. But we may run into an enemy or two. Oh man, I go so slow in the sand. So very slow in the sand. It makes me quite like a risky target as well. I'm gonna get these peppers though. Uh, nice. I see some more over this way. You can always sort of tell what the stem of these plants looks like, even before the peppers show up, so that's why I'm always looking for it. Hmm. What do we get over here? Oh, there's more of them. No, 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 that's actually not true. It's a different kind of plant. Hey, I'll take it, might be good. Warm safflina, this medicinal plant, grows in hot regions such as the Gerudo Desert. It's warm to the touch and increases your cold resistance when cooked into a dish. Well, isn't that great? What is that? Frogs. Ah, all right. Interesting. I hear jingles. Oh, these maybe? Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. It might be Korok jingles, but only so much I could do. Yeah, these frogs are weird. I think we're heading the right way. The Master Sword power has been restored. That's excellent. That's what I wanted to hear. Good, good job, Mr. Sword, Mr. Master Sword. Yeah, I guess there's no faster way to do this. I could start climbing and gliding and stuff. I don't know if that's smarter. I mean, I could have just, you know, came in from up this way. That would have been the absolute smartest thing to do. But I wanted to take this route. Maybe we'd find some cool things along the way. Whoa, that is not cool. That is not cool. Not is that not cool. I'm getting up here with the frogs. Hey, frogs. Okay, maybe I can just hop on one of your backs and you could jump me to victory. What is that over there? Uh, oh, I think it's. They have a little symbol. I think they have the Iku Clan symbol on them. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna activate this. Just so that I can start restoring again. See how they have little symbols on their heads though? But that's really curious to me. Yeah. Maybe they want apples. Uh hold and drop. Usually these things want apples, but maybe these ones don't like apples. They are frogs. Frogs normally like apples. I don't know, I guess not. <laughs> okay. I feel like I should be taking my way up there, but for now, I will take the dangerous route in the sand where I have limited movement. If anything falls on me, I just have to start climbing as fast as I can, and that will be good. Come on, Link, keep going. Keep going, keep running. What is up there? Just more frogs. These frogs are starting to get ominous. Like, there's more of them, and then more of them. And then a couple more, and then like five more, and then like eight. Just ridiculous. Like, what do they want? Didn't even think frogs would be in a region like this. 
Okay, dodge that. Okay, you had a big brother. Electric staff, Lena. Okay, cool. Hmm. Look at how many frogs are now. Jeez. I might want to climb up, but at the same time, it's quite the climb. It might be worth my while, though. Like, it might be overall slightly faster, especially if they start chucking more rocks at me. I can only imagine it's the frogs that are doing it. They just don't like me. Oh, man, it's gonna take me a while to climb this. That's okay. Th today's been sort of a slow going day. We've been watching ice melt, literally. I mean, we got lots of stuff for it. We got even some uh, rupees for it, a couple hundred of them. And I don't know when we're gonna be able to sell these stones or these uh, minerals and stuff, but it will be worth it. it they sell for a lot. Because how much, we have 844 rupees again. We've really built ourselves up. I want to buy like some more clothing sets. I just don't know if it's worth it at this point. Okay, we got actually up here pretty well. And then one more. No, the frog! The frog, no! I tried to hop on a ledge and the frog blocked me. He's like, not today, buddy. Not today. Should have just kept running. Never trust a frog in the desert. Okay, well. Lots of crows. Sort of an odd place for them to be. And more frogs. Uh. Hmm. I don't like this one bit. This is just ominous. I don't know what we're about to run into, but we're on solid ground again. I can start running a bit quicker. I'm just trying to be careful. Because <laughs> these frogs, they judge me. They're like, huh, look at him struggle to get up here. If he was a frog, he could just hop, hop, hop. Silly Hylian. Well, I made it to the top without my frog legs. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Haven't seen one of you guys in a little while. Don't have weaponry. No, no, come back. Come back, where are you? Are you over there now, huh? No, 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 no. Come on, come on, let's talk about this. No? Are we playing a game of tag now? We are. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Ooh, duplex bow. A bow favored by the skilled archers of the Giga Clan. It's been engineered to fire two arrows at once to ensure your target comes to a swift and non none too pleasant halt. Nice, wait, what? Don't laugh at me. Okay, drop cash. I don't need the bow that much. I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> it like pointed and laughed at me. Oh, don't, don't you dare. I don't wanna have to take out doggies. I'd rather you guys leave me alone. Is there anything going this way? Is this where I'm supposed to be going? What about this direction? Now this seems like it's correct. Uh, I guess there just might be extra stuff that way. I have no clue. But yeah, we are going the correct way. There are Yugi, Yugi Clan people now attacking us. Hmm. Oh gosh, three of them? We've never had to face more than one. Well, never had to face two at one time. Correction. Hey now, hold on, let me get these bananas. You guys really like bananas. I can't blame you. It's like the best fruit. Okay, where are you running? Where are you running? Ow, oh, okay, you actually hit me that time. Can I get your money though? Real quick, thank you. All right, you know, if I were to arch at you with my archering skills, don't float in the sky. Get down here. <laughs> All right, see ya. Okay, this is great. I'm getting some money from it. You guys aren't so bad. Hmm, I don't see too much else going on around here. Once again, I hear what I thought would be a Korok, but I guess it's just the jingles of all the things on the ropes. This is sort of ominous. I feel like I will actually need to eat some food. Let's sort all of that, and then... Hmm. That's good. That'll actually get me very close to full. Hello, anybody home? Ah, we are where the marker says we're supposed to be. Uh, oh, a torch. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I mean, actually, now I have more than one. It's a bow. Uh, I wanna set this bow on fire. Can it not be set on fire? I guess not. Hmm. I think this is a weight of some kind. And if I were to pick this up, maybe, but or maybe I, okay, hold on. I see a couple things going on. Uh, I really don't need the weaponry as much as I want the fruit, but I'll take it. Maybe I have to pick that up. 
No, that didn't work. I thought the maybe, oh, no, it did work. It just takes a second. <laughs> well, that was one. Okay, that gave me keys. <laughs> well, I got rid of the keys. Oh, there's one more. So each one has a surprise. Oh, I like that. So let us go around and see what else other surprises we can get, right? That sounds like a, a lot of fun. It almost looks like there's scripture that I cannot read on these walls. Okay, cannot read their language, unfortunately. Rivali's Gale okay, there's ready. that. And I got Rivali's Gale, so we're all good to go. A lot of stuff. Okay, so that is a staircase upward. Boring, I need to go and get myself some free stuff. Like over here. They do give you a lot of torches, though. Uh, got it, right? Uh, Come on. There you go. You were just gonna get really close to it, which I'm not comfortable with. Okay, so we got ourselves a couple things. Um, first, let's break this stuff open with the weapon. I don't care about the sickle. I got a shroom. Cool. And what's in here? Uh, Purple rupee, nice. These guys, they're very financially comfortable leaving all their money around. They just drop it when you beat them. And they're one of the few enemies that'll really do that. They'll just drop money when you take them out, which is uncommon for Zelda, you know? Okay, luckily I didn't get caught on fire there. Uh, oh, more. Well, they're gone. <laughs> oh, this is still on fire, fantastic. So let's run back this way. We got two more to check out. One of these is gonna have a Yiki Clan member just like in a bathtub, like, ah! Have some privacy, young man, or respect my privacy. Okay, what's it got? More, really? My torch is badly damaged, what am I gonna do? I don't know. So let's run back down this way. And last one, better get something good. I mean, I've already gotten 50 rupees. I can't really ask for too much more. It didn't work, there we go, this time it worked. Probably just gonna be more keys. Not gonna get my hopes up. Oh, <laughs> that won't work. So these have anything they don't, but this has a sapphire, awesome. Okay, I am very glad I searched this area. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. See how we get to go up the staircase and see what's at the top? I think I'm pretty well prepared for whatever we may run into, but the Yiga clan hideout. Oh, hey, this is such a trap. There is no way this isn't a trap. Hey, are you okay? You're gonna be quiet about this. Um, hi, gotta escape somehow. Can I talk to you or what? There you go. Hey, what are you doing here? This is the hideout of those Yiga thieves who stole the Thunder Helm. If they spot you, they'll call their friends for sure. There's no way you can take them all on. If only you had some way of distracting them, but I don't know how. All I ever see them do is patrol and eat bananas. I haven't seen anything else that you could exploit as a weakness. Listen, this place is dangerous. You could get out of here while you, you should get out of here while you still can. I can take care of myself, really? You're sitting here in uh, the middle of the cage. I don't think you're doing so well. What, the, what happened to the big dude? Uh, He ain't coming up the stairs, is he? Because there was sort of like a big guy. Didn't really pay him any mind. Okay, well, we get to deal with this and more in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you want to just put a video, make sure you comment Yiga Zebra so that you've watched the end that you are a zebra tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the zebra herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.